Hello, so today I'm doing a movie review. What's next on my channel, who knows? You might be wondering why I'm doing this. Well, why not? That's my answer. And also, I want to review this absolute classic of a movie. So, Space Buddies. Have you ever seen Air Bud? In case you haven't, it's a film about a dog who does sport. A lots and lots of sport. It got a few sequels and a spin-off series called The Buddies series which is about the aforementioned dog's puppies. The puppies get into all kinds of wacky shenanigans, such as getting into dog sledding and becoming superheroes. But this video is mainly going to be focused on space buddies. As you might have guessed, it's about the buddies going into space. The movie was released in 2009, and this is the poster. Can you guys tell which of these is the token girl of the group? As a kid, I used to watch this movie all the time for whatever the reason, so let's see if it holds up. The movie starts with the buddies' owners going on a school field trip to NASA, I mean Vision Enterprise. Pets aren't allowed to come, but the pups are having none of that and sneak aboard the bus. While we're here, let's get to know our characters. We've got Buddha, the obvious leader, Butterball, the comedic relief, B-Dog, that one white kid who thinks he can rap, Mudbud, the dirty one, and Rosebud, the token girl. As you can probably guess, they all have Bud in their names because, you know, it's they're, they're the buddies, the, the Air Bud. G you get it? Shaw, sure. you didn't scare me. I was just busting a new move. They all get to the NASA ripoff and they meet this guy named Dr. Finkel, who may or may not be the evil twister villain or whatever. The buddies get some new threads and this place must have the worst security ever since it hasn't detected the five runaway puppies. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't even notice them on the bus. While the idiots are distracted, the puppies decide to check out the ship that's going to the moon. Because they're doing a moon launching and all that. I always thought this launch pad said lunch, by the way. The puppies straight up walk into the ship and these idiots don't see. Is everyone here blind? The puppies get locked onto the ship which launches them into space. There's some bad CGI and wow, here we are. Turns out the ship is being piloted from mission control and also the ship is running out of fuel. They get in contact with this crazy Russian cosmonaut named Yuri and head over to his place to get more fuel. So, I mean, it's like the ship is being... Because they think the ship, they didn't realise that anyone was on the ship, so... They don't know the puppies were on the ship, even though they should know, you know. <laughs> so, comrades, in return for the fuel, forget everything. So they arrive at the space station, which is, uh, a lot. They decide to explore the space station, and they meet a dog called Sputnik, who is under the care of Yuri. Sputnik explains that Yuri is quite intent to stay in space, yet he wishes to go home. Yuri wants to keep all the dogs there though, so they straight up kill him. Well no, he escapes through a pod, but they did destroy his whole house though. Well not a house, it's a spaceship, but you know, whatever. So Sputnik joins the gang, and they all go to the moon, which B-Dog thinks is the Death Star for some reason. They land on the moon, become part of a PS1 cutscene, and the fucking idiots in Mission Control finally figure out their puppies. Took you long enough, assholes. There's also a talking ferret, and that's cool. She's gravity and she helps them out. She's probably like my favorite character, aside from Sputnik, I guess. Buddies, you're right in the middle of a meteor shower. The Mission Control people are ready to help them back home, but OMG, the Dr. Finkel guy messes up their trajectory and leads them into a meteor shower. I told you he was totally evil. They get hit, which damages the antenna or whatever. Butterball is sent to repair the antenna by doing a spacewalk outside of Vision 1. And because he's the comedic relief, there's a bunch of fart jokes that are extremely funny and I die laughing every time. Whoa, dudes! Dr. Finkel gets hashtag exposed and ratioed and gets arrested. The Yuri guy from before ends up crashing into Earth and actually dies this time. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> As for the buddies, they all flame up and die. Just kidding, they land safely and have an everybody clapped moment. Once at home, Buddha gives Sam a moon rock he had taken from his journey, fulfilling his wish of touching the moon. The film ends with Sputnik back at home with his old owner. I used to cry at this scene all the time, by the way. Like, straight up, me as a kid. This made me want to have a dog, even though... Yeah, I've never, I never got to have a dog, but anyway. <laughs> well, that's a brief summary of the movie. Now we can do the actual, I don't know, review part. <laughs> Starting with the story. I mean the story was fine, I guess. Definitely didn't blow my socks off, but this is a family fun direct-to-home video Disney movie. I wasn't expecting it to. 
There were definitely a lot of stupid things, such as the fact that no one could see the buddies sneaking around Mission Control. Or going onto that ship for that matter. Or fuck, even getting onto the bus. Like you think the kids would have heard the puppies rummaging around. It's a fun fantasy kids movie, I could see how a kid would like it. The humour wasn't really my thing either. There are some kid things that make me laugh a lot, but not really this one. Maybe I'm just boring and salty now, I don't know. <laughs> you know I mean, because like with fart jokes, like how I was mentioning them before, I think with fart jokes, they can be funny, but I think, you know, it's like about the timing and also not overusing them, because if you overuse them, they get old very fast. So now moving on to the characters. The characters are pretty one note, but once again, a director home video Disney film. I'm not expecting like, you know, Breaking Bad level characters. Buddies basically only have one personality trait. Buddha is the leader, Rosebud is the girl, Butterball likes food, etc. Sputnik was alright, but Yuri was a lot, you know, the crazy Russian stereotype. If I had to pick a favourite, none of the buddies, they're all annoying, so I'd go with Sputnik. B-Dog was especially annoying, like please stop with the weird rapping. It's giving me secondhand embarrassment. The villain was also really cliche, as I mentioned before. I don't know why. I feel like Disney always has to have some kind of weird twist villain in there, and it's really obvious they're a twist villain. <laughs> but like I said, it is a kids' movie, so I'm not really expecting a like crazy personalities. But then again, there is there are kids' media. There is kids' media out there that like you know have really like really interesting personalities and stuff. Yeah, this is a B movie. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going on to CGI and effects. There were definitely some parts of the movie that felt very PS1 game cutscene. Especially this shit with the freaky CGI puppies. Well, I wasn't expecting some top tier shit, but these puppies will be in my nightmares. If I had to score this out of 10, I'd say like a 5. Not a bad movie, but definitely not a great one either. Why Kid Me liked it so much, I have no idea. Probably the talking puppies. Kids love animals. I wouldn't recommend it, TBH. I mean, if you want to watch it, go for it, but there are plenty of better kids' movies out there. But then again, I understand why this movie was made, because it's, you know, it's a franchise, and they want to sell to kids and make lots of money, because it's, you know, capitalism and all of that. So I, I, I understand why it is the way it is. Because, you know, they want to make money. And, you know, it's an easy way to make money, to just make movies about animals, because kids love that, but... Like I said, if you're actually looking at it objectively, it's not a great movie. Because, you know, this, like I said, there's way better kids' movies out there. Thanks for watching. This is a different type of thing than I've done before, and I hope you enjoyed. Maybe I'll review some other movies too? Okay, bye-bye.